Good afternoon and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name is Mark and I'm going to take you for a walk around our 2009 HSV Malu Ute today. Starting off at the front of the car, slight difference which was an upgrade where you can have all the black front running through the middle section there where the grill's located, daytime running lamps and directly below that we've got our driving lights as well. It does have the uh, staggered black alloy wheels fitted to the car, so 20 inch alloys. Um, at a cost of around two grand for those, so certainly another upgrade with no scratches on the wheels and plenty of tread on the tyres as well. HSV badging in the bottom of the front guard, colour coded exterior mirrors and door handles, and then our distinct Maloo badging as well. Can't really pick any, uh, any marks or anything. A couple of minor blemishes as we get to the hard lid at the rear here. A small little bit of paint peeled off there which will get touched up. And there's also been another minor touch up just there as well. As we're around at the rear, a couple of things to take note of. It's had the upgraded X-Force exhaust. So once again, there's a few more thousand thrown at it. Does also have the tow pack, so certainly do have the scope to tow if we need to and as we move around to the passenger side just one more small touch up just there on the hard lid as well so I mean minor cosmetic things but we like you to be aware of that as well in conjunction with the aftermarket wheels it has also had the suspension lowered as well um, so it does just sit a little nicer than just your stock standard one out of the factory So underneath the bonnet at the front of the car, as a rule from factory, these came out uh, running 317 kilowatts. This car has had a custom tune as well, uh, which cost 1495. So it has actually lifted it up to 600, uh, sorry, 350 kilowatts now. They all have individual build numbers as well, and this was build number 207 in the run at the time. As you can see, back around at the rear of the car now, we have lifted the hard lid up out of our way. You notice the gas struts on the outside, so they don't impede on your storage area. And then of course, we just, uh, to lower this tailgate, just release that handle there. And as you can see, we've got the full tub liner in the back as well. So certainly protecting everything inside when we're storing cargo. So here we are inside the Malu now, and actually presents really well inside the car. Starting on our steering wheel, uh, cruise control on our indicator stalk does have auto headlights as well. Uh, we've got our Bluetooth button here with our volume control for our audio, then audio and trip computer buttons on our left hand side. It is a height and reach adjustable steering wheel, so telescopic in its operation. And the car for a 2009 only done 88,000 Ks, so good Ks. Moving into the centre, we've got all of our uh, gauges here at the top section, directly above our air con vents. Uh, we've got the dual zone air conditioning running at a fairly cold temperature because it's reasonably warm today. Um, does have a six speed manual gearbox, so certainly uh, a lot, lot more desirable being manual on six speed. And when, now that we've come to the, to the style of transmission or gearbox, also important to note that the uh, previous owner did also upgrade the diff. So it's running the two, true track diff in the rear as well coupled with our six-speed box. All of our master controls for our audio and our air conditioning there as well. Small storage compartment. Traction control button just at the front of our uh, gear stick there. And then all of our controls for our power windows and our doors and mirrors as well. We've got our lock nut for our alloy wheels, of course, to just protect them from theft. And then our good-sized storage compartment in there incorporating a 12-volt outlet as well. Also important to note, it does have all the airbags, this car, so front side and curtain airbags. So being a, being a two-door ute, it's also extremely safe as well. Which moves me on to our service books as we scan around the interior. Pretty much the 14,000K, uh, the 45,000K, the 60,000K, all stamped in the book. They just uh, neglected to stamp this one, but we've got the current invoice for the last service which was done at 79,000 Ks. So, uh, very good books as well. I hope this has given you a really good idea about the quality of our 2009 HSV Malu. Going through all of those upgrades and options that the previous owner did with the car, just under $12,000 worth of improvements made to this vehicle. So, give us a call on 9907055 and one of us will be able to help you further.